Billiest Park, you want to marry me, niece Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it. And bet your 20,000 pounds you can't hit the bed. Around the world in 80 days. Pop, pop, doo. So far, me marry Belinda, niece. Pop, pop, doo. It's come down. Yes, Lord Mayor. Stop thought from traveling around the world in 80 days. I must win that bet. Pop may fail because of fix. And then Pop mixes his tricks to tricks around the world with Pop the Doo. Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Fix to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. I, as his companion, shall watch out for Monsieur Pete. Around the world in 80 days, so Pop may very blind amaze. Around the world with Pop the Doo. <laughs> What a beautiful city Naples is. Too bad we have to leave. But if we're to get around the world in 80 days, we must make the four o'clock boat this afternoon. What shall I pack in the bag for this journey, monsieur? Hmm, now let me see now. Uh, for a journey like this, we ought to take uh, a compass, a mouse, and... Uh, a mouse? And uh, three pairs of roller skates. Well, the compass is no problem. But the water skates. <laughs> Voila, the roller skates. Now for the mouse. For Mr. Fogg. Thank you, young man. What is it, monsieur? A request from my friend Professor Fiorelli, who is excavating out at Pompeii. He wants me to look at what may be an important discovery he has made. But no, monsieur, there is no time. We must catch our boat. There is time. Come on. You heard that, Mr. Fix? I did indeed, Mr. Fix. I'll see that they don't make that boat. Then you have a plan, do you, Mr. Fix? Have I got a plan? Have I got a plan? You bet your life I have. Well, what is it? The first step is... out of a molehill. Mountain? Molehill? What does this mean? There. You see that little mound on the grass? <laughs> it is moving. <laughs> Careful, Toto. <laughs> yeah. That is made by a mole digging a tunnel. And that little mound is called a molehill. Now, do you understand? But of course. It is a very little thing. It is not a big thing like a mountain. Precisely. So the expression, don't make a mountain out of a molehill, means... Don't make a big problem out of a little problem. Good job, Pasta, too. Now, let's find our way to Pompeii. According to Professor Fiorelli's directions, we should take the east side train to Pompeii, and he will meet us there. But how do we get to the east side station, monsieur? I'll ask this gentleman. Pardon, signor. Buon giorno, signori. Buon giorno. Uh, where will we find the east side train station? We are anxious to get to Pompeii. Oh, very uh, simple. Uh, go down the street until you come almost to the end, then turn a right, take the first and turn a left, then go to the next block and turn a right, then right again and left and right again, and go up the steps and there you are. Thank you. Don't hang me, mate. You're going to be so lost you'll never even get to Pompeii, much less make the four o'clock boat. <laughs> Must have taken the wrong turn somewhere, monsieur. 
It is terrible. Don't get excited, lad. But what can we do? We shall never get out of this place. Nonsense, Bastard, too. We simply ask for new instructions. I beg your pardon, Signora, but could you tell us where to find the East Side train station? Of course, it's a pleasure. Go down these steps till you come to the sea level and take a sharp turn straight ahead until you see a large fountain. Go around the fountain to keep it dry and take your first curve ahead until you see the same fountain again. Go three blocks beyond the other point until you cross the Palazzo Reale. After the Palazzo, go down the stairs and there you are. Clear? Thank you, Signora. <laughs> We are lost, and time grows short. We still have ample time. But what if we cannot find our way out of here? What if we must go on and on, forever running in circles, never finding the train station? Come, lad, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. But this is no molehill, monsieur. This is a big problem. Not really. Hand me the compass. The compass? Exactly. Since we are searching for the east side station, we simply turn our compass until the needle is pointing north. And then we know that this is the way east, to the east side station. Parlez-vous! How clever, Mr. Fogg! Compasses are no good here! That's the wrong way! You'll end up falling off the side of the earth! Come back and pass go! You forgot to collect $200! There's Mount Vesuvius, Passepartout, the famous volcano. Famous? Why is it famous, monsieur? Because it erupted nearly 2,000 years ago and buried the city where we are going, Pompeii. So, they're off on a little trip to Pompeii, are they? <laughs> well, maybe we can just hit them off at the pass and make the trip a little longer, eh, Mr. Fix? Don't call me Fix, you fool. Can't you see I'm a famous person? Oh, and who might that be, stranger? I am as a famous lone abandoned of Pompeii. I always leave my enemies in ruins. Just to watch me stop at the train. Horse You said that Mount Vesuvius actually buried the city of Pompeii? But how could that be? Vesuvius is a very dangerous volcanic mountain, lad. Nearly 2,000 years ago, the top of the mountain exploded and the sky filled with black clouds. Ashes from the explosion fell on the city and buried it completely. Parlez-vous! How terrible! Yes, all the people and animals were buried along with Pompeii's buildings. Okay, lone bandit of Pompeii, do your stuff. Alter your train in the name of the lone bandit of Pompeii, or I shall reduce your train to ruins. But if the city of Pompeii is buried, Monsieur Fogg, what is the good of our going there? Because now they're digging down to the city and restoring it, Passepartout. After almost 2,000 years? Yes, indeed. And my good friend, Professor Fiorelli, is in charge of the digging. Are you sure you know what you're doing this time, lone bandit? How can I miss? They'll have to stop before that log I put on the tracks. And then I'll finally fix that fog. All before the lone bandit of Pompeii, or I will turn your train to ruins! <laughs> What is the point of digging up a city which has been buried almost 2,000 years? Oh, there is much we can learn from the past, lad. And the ruins of Pompeii are remarkably preserved. What is 
is it? What has happened to us, monsieur? Come out of that train, everybody! This is the lone bandit of Pompeii, and I'm robbing all of you! One wrong move, and I'll reduce you to ruins! All right. I want all of you women to tie up the man and be quick about it. Parlez-vous! If we are tied up, we will not be able to get to Pompeii, or to get that boat at Naples, or to get around the world in 80 days. We are done for, monsieur. Nonsense. Don't go making a mountain out of a molehill. A molehill? Surely you cannot think this is a small problem. We are doomed. Just open the bag, Passepartout. Open the bag? Precisely. Here now, here now, stop that! This is a robbery! You can't be running around like a bunch of chickens! Fix trick! Fix trick! The bandit is on him, Monsieur Fix! Blimey, Mr. Boy of Give me a That mouse was wonderful. Yeah, but I think you'd better get him back in the bag now, lad. If we want to finish our journey. Nice work there, Mr. Fix. But how was I to know about a mouse? Because of your cheesy tricks, that's how. You ought to be prepared. Well, I'll stop him at Pompeii. You'd better, Mr. Fix, or Lord Mays may be stopping you. I will, I will. I'll fix that for all me name is Fix. It's amazing what you've done here, Professor. Everything seems as if the people were still here. Yes, it's just as it was on the day Vesuvius exploded. A perfect record of life nearly 2,000 years ago. This was Main Street. Those men are my helpers, hauling away the ashes and cinders. And past part two, notice the street. All paved with stone and just as smooth as our streets today. Paved streets in that day are indeed amazing, monsieur. But right now, I am more interested in getting back to Naples to be sure we make the Toro Club boat. We have enough time, past part two. <laughs> Oh, say, stranger, what's that funny noise? That a noise? Oh, that's only the mountain. Oh, mountain? Mount of Vesuvius. She rumbles and shakes all of the time. But aren't you frightened? No, senor. Not unless Vesuvius rumbles for more than a minute at a time. Then what happens? Oh, senor, if that happens, it is very frightening indeed, for it means the volcano may be ready to erupt. <laughs> And what would you and the other two hit rumble for a minute, sir? Do, senor. What would we do? We would leap into that train and hurry away from here as fast as it would go. And what if somebody missed that train? That would be very sad indeed, for he would be stuck here. There is no other transportation to Naples. None at all. None at all. Oh, boy. You said the magic word, stranger. What is that, monsieur? The Pompeii Theater, my boy. It seated 5,000 people at a time. And look over here. This was a lunch counter where people could buy something to eat on the way to the theater. Which reminds me, I'm very hungry. But here is what I must discuss with you, Phileas. The bakery we are starting to dig out. Down inside of the oven, there are some very strange objects. I need your opinion. Delighted. But how shall we get down there? The workmen will lower us. Here we go. Down inside a nice deep hole, that ought to do jolly good. Now all I need is a few noise makers. Beautiful, Mr. Fix. We'll use these just like our drums. You mean you're going to make a noise like the volcano, Mr. Fix? 
You betcha. I'll make like a volcano and everybody will run away on the train and that will leave Fog stuck down in the owl. <laughs> Beautiful, Mr. Fix. You see, Phileas, here they are. Now, what do you make of them? Hmm. There seems to be some writing on it, stamped into the surface. It says, Silly Go Granny. What does it mean? Vesuvius! Vesuvius! It's erupting! Oh, 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 no, no, senor. It was just a short rumble. It has stopped now. It means nothing. The volcano! It's erupting! Crazy tourist. I can't hear a thing. The noise has stopped. It, Mr. Fix, you can't beat the drums and excite the people. All right, I'll get out. Silly Gograni means wheat flour. This is actually a loaf of bread I'm holding, a loaf of bread baked almost 2,000 years ago. Amazing! What an incredible discovery! Now, friend, how'd you like to earn a lira? Oh, see, si, see. Si. All you have to do is beat on these tubs till I tell you to stop. Got that? Until I tell you to stop. Understand? See. Si. All right, mate. Start beating. <coughs> run! Run! Run for the train! Get out of here! Vesuvius is erupting! Volcano! Run for the train! Hurry, man, hurry! Forget that elevator and run for your life! The volcano is coming! Run, run, run! <coughs> It is time, monsieur. We must go now if we are to make a boat in Naples. You've told me all I needed to know, Phileas, and I'm a very great. All right, Giuseppe. Pull us up. There's <laughs> no Giuseppe up here, mate. We can't hear you. Pull us up. I said there's no. Oh, never mind. I'll get you within good talking distance, mate. <laughs> You are, matey. Fix tricks all the way. You haven't got a chance in the world of making that boat in Naples. What have you done, Fix? Oh, just a trifle. Made all these folks up here think that man I've got playing the drums is really a volcano. So they're ready to take off on the train, which means there's no one to pull you out of the hole, and there won't be a train to get you to Naples. <laughs> volcano! Good job, mate! Real good job you did for me beating those drums! Do you hear that train pulling away? It means you won't do yourself a bit of good getting out of that hole because the train to Naples is gone! Yes, and so has that man you paid to beat the drums. So? So what? So who is beating the drums now? Drums? Who is... Who is... Volcano! Mount Vesuvius! It's erupting! Painted from fear, it seems. And so will we, monsieur! Now we are doomed! The mountain is erupting, and we are in a hole! On oh. my shoulders, that's about two. I'll boost you up, and you catch the rope that pulls the elevator. But, but I cannot reach the rope, monsieur! We are lost! Now call Toto, and have him climb on your head. And he can reach the rope for the elevator. Toto! Come, little good monkey, catch the rope for passepartout. Ah, come, little Toto. See, he's doing it. Ah, no, he has missed. Let him try again. Come, Toto. Yes, little Toto, the rope. Ah, he has done it. He is the cleverest monkey in the world. Now, pull up the elevator. But what good is it to be up here, monsieur? We are doomed. Come, come, passepartout. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Mountain out of a molehill? Is that not a mountain? Is it not a mountain which is erupting? And the train is gone. And, and we will never get back to Naples. And never get our boat. And never get around the world in any day. The bag, Passepartout. What? The bag. Give us the three pairs of roller skates. Roller skates? Of course. What a fine idea. The paved streets of Pompeii will be perfect. For roller skating, we should make it to Naples in no time. Goodbye, Monsieur Fix Trick. No, no, lad. Use this cart and help me lift him in. We wouldn't want to leave him here. There now. Let's go.
somebody who really knows how to make a mountain out of a molehill. <laughs> Good show, Pat Patu. Around the world in 80 days, Pat Patu. So Pat may marry Brenda Mays. Pat Patu. Pat may fail because of fix. Unless Pat nicks his fixes his tricks. Around the world with Pat Patu. Around the world in 80 days, so Pop may marry Linda Mays. Around the world with 